If you've seen a single reaction channel, then you've seen all of them. Every reaction channel does the exact same thing, and they all have the exact same thumbnails, and it's just stupid that they're still thriving the way that they do on this platform. Earlier this year, I made a video talking about Sniper and Aziland being pretty much the same person as a joke because they're the same. They look very similar, they use the exact same faces every single thumbnail, and they have like three that they cycle through, which coincidentally PewDiePie talked about in the exact same way that I did, so that's cool. That just means I'm not alone when it comes to thinking about this. But recently, Aziland uploaded a video, and at the time of me making this, it was 28 minutes ago. And it was a video where she just reacts to messed up riddles. Sniper Wolf, five days ago, did the exact same thing. And of course, I'm not saying Sniper Wolf is original here, because she isn't. This video and idea has been done before. And hell, they have even done it themselves multiple times. And if you just look up Sniper Wolf messed up riddles, you will see, like, ten different ones. And they are all using the same faces in the thumbnail. But all I'm trying to say is that, at least in this this one, it looked like Azzy saw her upload another one of these messed up riddles, and it did well, so she did it too. And look, I, I get it, you can be inspired by other YouTubers, but, I mean, come on, this happens every week. They always have, like, one video that is the exact same as the other person's. And of course, they're not even funny or original whenever they react to their videos, they all sound the exact same, it's just, it's baffling that they're still able to get away with doing this. They both still do the baby talk, they both act like they're talking to children or puppies, it's just crazy that people still listen to them, they aren't funny. Their ideas of comedy is that they should just repeat what the captions are, repeat what's happening in the video, or just add goofy sound effects and pitch shift their voices. It's not funny, and it's like every time I watch them, I physically cringe. It's embarrassing. But in my last video, that's pretty much where I left it. I just talked about how they were annoying, and then I went on to talk about one of Sniper Wolf's video where she acts like she's going to sell her play button, and for whatever reason, a bunch of kids in the comments seemed to think I genuinely thought that she would sell her button, or that she did, and that was not the case. I knew she wasn't stupid enough to actually sell her button, but all I was saying is that I wouldn't put it past her if she ended up doing it in the future, and I wouldn't be surprised if it did happen. And before I actually start talking about any more of these people, because of a comment I made in the last video saying that only 12 year olds watch them, if you think that because I'm watching them right now makes that comment wrong, because I'm not a 5 year old, realize that I'm watching them because I'm not going to make up random shit and lie to you guys. Everything I talk about is stuff specifically from their videos, not stuff I'm making up. All of these shitty reaction channels make videos together it seems like. like you can go and you'll see that Azzyland is often making videos with Gloom. You'll see Gloom with Infinite List. You'll see Infinite List with Azzyland. The only person you never seem to see is Sniper Wolf with anyone because wherever she goes, whatever community she's a part of, she finds a way to alienate herself by being just a terrible human to everyone there. But yeah, let's start talking about some of these people. And, oh look, I was just talking about Gloom, so what if we start there? Let's start with Gloom. Gloom often makes videos with Azzyland, and they're just as bad as hers. Because, again, the comedy is the exact same. They think that whenever something is being funny, or whenever she's being funny, they just add sound effects, and then it's instantly funny. Or, or they just make a funny voice, and hey, that's how it works. The first video that I watched from her was Weird Things That Only Exist in Canada, and half of the things she is talking about is stuff that isn't even either original to Canada or isn't even only in Canada. Let's talk about something that she said everyone needed to try, and that's coffee crisp. Every time I have a package that I'm sending to somebody who's not a native to Canada, I send them one of these, a coffee crisp, and if you've never had one before, I'm so genuinely sorry. These little chocolate bars aren't even from Canada, they're originally from the UK and they were sold in Australia. I mean, they currently are sold in Australia, you can still go and get them there. Now of course they're not widespread like they're at every place, but you can find them out there. And you can always order them off of Amazon because they're chocolate bars, they're going to be fine if you ship them in the mail, they, they won't arrive expired or anything. So yeah, they're available everywhere. But one very important thing is that no one should buy anything by Nestle because they don't even think water is a basic human right. So yeah, just, just don't. Don't buy it, don't buy these. Don't support Nestle. There is one thing I can give to Gloom though over Sniper and Azzyland, and that's that she doesn't use as many sound effects in her videos, but she still just isn't that funny. Well, let's introduce you to someone that is the absolute fucking worst creator on this platform, and that's reaction time. Okay, I'll say that he isn't the worst creator on the platform, but he's definitely the worst reaction channel on the platform. I will definitely say that and give that to him. Like, he gets the award for it. 
Watching his videos just puts you to sleep. He has absolutely no emotions in any of his videos and all of his comments while watching something, it's just him repeating what is shown on screen. A real genius with an idea can do something like this. A 3D floor that's not bent. Lines can create the illusions when they have curves. Let's look at this video with um two people that I don't really care about and then another person I don't care about which is reaction time. But it's called Teens Who Beat the System. Genius! One minute into the video, they're talking about cheating on a test and acting like you shouldn't do it, but then, while they're talking about how to cheat on a test, they're winking, and they're, you know, making it obvious that they're trying to say you should do this. Tell you what you shouldn't do in school? Basically, I had a test, right? And I had to memorize, like, a bunch of stuff. Just a bunch You're of stuff. You're on the racer. Nah. Don't do that. Don't, don't cheat in school. It's pretty easy to just pass without cheating, and if you do fail because you feel like you can't pass any of your classes, you feel like it's not made for you, then it's probably not. School isn't made for everybody. You aren't always going to go on in your life and go to college and pass college. There are so many options out there to do in this world, and you will find what's right for you. Try a trade school. They, they aren't really that hard to pass, you just learn what you want to do for your trade, and if you like it, you keep going, and it's cheap to go to those schools. Also, you get paid incredibly well for learning a trade, so yeah, try that if you haven't. I just don't know what it is with this guy, but his intros are just gone. He's dead. He sounds exactly like the same guy from behind the meme, where he's just talking in that same sense where it's, Hey guys, today it's behind the meme, and it's just, it's not fun to listen to. But he also has an incredibly shitty series called Meet the Person. And it has a very, very bad intro where it's like he just spliced a bunch of other clips together from previous versions or episodes of it. And at the end, you just hear him say, and I'm reaction time, and it cuts off just like that. Welcome to Meet the Person series, and we're gonna meet. It's time to meet. Who's being able to do what I do? On reaction time. It's like he couldn't even be bothered to actually make an intro for the show that's worth watching because he can't be, he really can't be bothered for it. Honestly, I don't think any of these reaction channels can be bothered to put any work into their video. It's like they don't seem to have enough free time even though all they do is sit down for 10 minutes every day and watch a stupid video or something or browse Reddit. Of course, I haven't even mentioned his thumbnails so far, but they are the same as every other reaction channel where it's just his face doing some expression on the right side, but he doesn't always put red behind it. Sometimes he won't have red, sometimes he will. One thing I will give him though is that it does seem like he is using more than three faces for his thumbnails, and honestly it seems like he uses a different one every thumbnail, so at least that's good, but it still doesn't make up for him sounding like he's hollow inside. Now let's look at good old Infinite. Another male reaction channel, and I'll immediately say, I've seen like 10 of his thumbnails, and they're just awful. They are all slightly different versions of the same face, and a lot of them already look reused, but they aren't. They're all just so similar to each other, that it seems like they're the same ones. But the same thing is going on here as it is with reaction time, where his videos are just him straight up saying and repeating what's happening on screen. But it's with the comedy of Sniper Wolf and Asty Land where funny faces and funny voice equals good comedy and it's just, it doesn't work. And most of the time it doesn't even seem like he's trying to be funny. He's just watching videos and repeats what happens in the video. And I mean, if we, if we look at this one, try these school life hacks in 2020, shocking. The hacks themselves, like any other life hack, is stupid and pointless. And I get they're not supposed to all be useful, they're just supposed to be funny, quirky little things you can do in your free time. But the first one is supposed to be a soft drink charger. It looks like the whole point is that it's supposed to look cool around your friend. At least that's what I can assume. But he acts like it's, it looks like it's a real drink. But it looks like you're charging your phone with soda and people will be like, how did, how did you, how, how did you, how did you do that? That doesn't make any sense at all. But who, who puts ice on top of their lid? No one. Nobody does that. But at least for this hack, since they showed it in the video, he tells you how you can do it by just repeating what they do in the video. And then you glue ice to the cup, or I guess you could get like these crystal things that kind of look like ice so they don't melt everywhere. But yeah, that kind of looks like ice, right? For the next one, you just see a pen holder made from a Mountain Dew bottle, and he says that you just tape a zipper around the bottle when that is not even close to all that you do. Dude, all you have to do is tape a zipper all around the Mountain Dew on top and bottom, and then just boom, you got yourself a Mountain Dew freaking bottle zipper 
pen holder. The tape wouldn't hold this zipper as good as it is being held in the video. You definitely need to at least hot glue it. The rest of the video is also pretty much just the exact same thing where he's just repeating what happens on screen, thinking that maybe he's being funny. I don't even know if he really is trying. But yeah, that's it. That's all I'm going to do today. I can't take any other shitty reaction channel, so I'm just going to end that part here. Look at that, guys. All of the reaction channels are bad. Who would have guessed? Every single one. It's just terrible. I do not get why people think these are fun to watch, why they get any entertainment out of them, when there are so many other better creators to watch on this platform. There are so many other people that are genuinely funny that need the recognition, yet people like this get it. All of these reaction channels just aren't funny, they are very repetitive, and they're clearly in it for the money and don't care about entertaining people. I say this because they have no emotions and all of their videos are just so poorly edited. And look, I get it, if you aren't a good editor, then you're just not going to be able to edit your videos well. But you can at least be good in other areas like, you know, being funny. Or you can just hire someone who's good at editing to edit your videos. But apparently some people may argue that they don't have enough time with what they do because, I don't know, I guess they're grinding 24-7. They must be grinding to make these reaction videos where they just sit in front of Reddit all day. But yeah, that's going to be where I leave this video. If you do want to join my graduated parliament, which is the best parliament in the world and the only one that exists, then all you gotta do is just hit that subscribe button down below and then you're part of the gang, you're part of the parliament. But if you did also like this video, be sure to actually like it to show your support, it really helps me out. And other than that, I hope you guys all have an absolute fantastic day, and if any of those reaction channels I somehow mentioned watch this video, then up your game. I think you can be doing a lot better, and I really hope you guys do, because maybe one day I will find myself watching you, because you could actually be funny, but as of right now, you're not.